I, I, I can feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head I'm You know what? I'm tired. I'm tired. As part of my lifestyle line, I'm gonna give you updates on what's happening with the Tesla Model S. You know what? It's starting to tick me off. I'm gonna be honest with you. And every time something happens, I'm gonna make a video. Because why? I want to educate the rest of the world on some of the headaches that can arise from owning a Tesla Model S. What's wrong with the Model S now? Oh boy. I get a notification. Unable to charge service vehicle immediately. What? Want to see what I'm talking about? Ooh, she's getting cool here in Canada. <laughs> I can see my breath. <laughs> yeah, I'm not happy. What is going on? I'm at around 25% at this point and I'm on my way home where I have the option to charge at home. I connect to the charge port at home in the garage. No problem. Look at the update on my phone. No charge. Uh oh. Where's my white light? There is no white light. Can attempt to pull the plug in? Nope. Something's wrong. Right there on the dash. Unable to charge, service is required. And when I check the notification in the app, I see something that says CCS adapter retrofit with a little hazard symbol beside it. <laughs> Interesting. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking what I'm thinking, right? Where there's those little hazard symbols, there's dollar signs. Stick with me. Let's see what we got. And you're going to love this. When I click on it, the CCS adapter retrofit, it says, Appointments for the CCS Combo 1 adapter retrofit are currently unavailable. Check back in early 2023 for a bail of... I, couldn't, I can't even speak. I'm so angry. Check back in early 2023 for availability. Are you kidding me right now? These are some of the things we need to know about when we have ownership of a Tesla Model S. I love peace of mind. This isn't peace of mind. Look at me. Do I look happy? We're talking about $100,000 worth of raw electrical power here. Don't get me wrong. I love my Tesla Model S, but I expect a certain quality of operation. I hate those little hazard sign symbols. There's nothing I hate worse than getting in the car and seeing one of them things flash up. Oh boy. So I get the email, right? Because as a Tesla owner, you have to have the app right on your phone because you have to monitor. It's all about the technology, right? So I get the email looking for authorization for the actual invoice for the repair. And it's coming in at the, wait for it, $1,300. What? So what do you do? You don't want a car that doesn't charge. They have you. They just have you. It's unbelievable. One of those things you have no control over. It's unavoidable. Now, I agreed to the repair and the estimate. Now, the invoice was sent and blew my mind. Again, not in a good way. Total parts, $4.95. And when I say total parts, I'm talking about the ASY charge port MS, MX, Gen 2, US, and it's got a serial number for you that you'll see. I'll post that down below here for you. 102 s Total labor of $714. Come on, man. Full pop, $1,366 after taxes. Two weeks before Christmas. Really? Now, the car was ready after I dropped it off Monday night by Tuesday morning at 9 a.m. The turnaround was quick once it was in the hands of the service technician. But three days with no car was a killer, let me tell you, unacceptable. I asked about the problem, because I wanted to know. I wanted to get educated and see what's going on here. Could this have been avoided, basically? No. Now my Model S is only 2016. She's only six years old. But these harsh Canadian winters and this climate here with all the moisture wreaks havoc on a Tesla Model S. There's nothing you can do. Teslas aren't the best in cold, moist climates, is what I was told by the service technician. In fact, the parts themselves just don't hold up to the test of time in our cold, 
northern Canadian climates. This is it, coming straight from the horse's mouth. Be warned, cooler temperatures and moisture can and will impact the lifetime of some of the Tesla parts, including the charge port. No functional charge port, no car. It's that simple. At least I got some education on this particular service. But nonetheless, it doesn't make me any happier. Like I said, I love my Tesla. The Tesla Model S. It's still one of the best electric vehicles on the planet. I'm the Covert Pro. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate all the support. Keep coming back to the channel. Like, subscribe, and don't forget, you can follow me on Instagram. Right there. At the Covert Crow. No problem. I got another video to make. We'll see you on the next one.